Ready, go! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yep! Oh, oh someone's knocking on the door! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> this weekend we have the return of the king of the table in Dubai. It's arm wrestling again. Larry Wheels putting on his second arm wrestling promotion along with Core Sports. It's a stacked lineup and headlining. We have Goat versus Goat. John Brazank, the greatest arm wrestler of all time, versus Devon Larratt, who many believe is the best arm wrestler in the world currently. It's going to be an epic evening of arm wrestling action. So obviously this is predominantly a strongman channel. Now for those that are strongman fans and maybe have a passing interest in arm wrestling, like me, how would you compare it? So say Devon, like who is Devon in the world of strongman right now? So Devon right now is someone like a um, Alexei Novikov, for instance. Okay. Someone who's kind of like near the top of the game. Um, there's people, you know, people would look at other guys like Tom Stoltman and maybe a few others that can challenge him. Um, and I'd say John is a bit like the Zadrunus of Iscus, okay. of, of strongman. Okay. He's maybe past his prime, mm -hmm. but he's, he's done absolutely everything there is in arm wrestling. Literally everyone you speak to, like all these top arm wrestlers, they still regard him as the, the, the best of all time. Okay. That being said... Is he still good enough to compete with the very, very top in the world? We see it in Strongman Zadrunas has proven he's, he can still hang there. Yeah. He's just not winning the major shows right now. He's not beating the Alexis. That's that's the, the kind of key thing, I think. And, you know, this is a real chance for him to, to prove he's still got it. Yeah. He's still capable. I think all the pressure is going to be on um, Larratt. Because he, he kind of had such a dominating win against Michael Todd. Mm. He's seen as... You know, the, the man to beat right now. The pressure is going to be on him. But I think he's going to cope with the pressure okay, if I'm honest. I think he'll cope absolutely fine. If he can get into a boxing ring after five weeks of training, then he can, he'll can. he be absolutely fine. This is his forte, surely. Well, he's I'm, going to be... I'm glad he's not getting into a boxing yeah, ring again. <laughs> that was great scary. Great and entertaining <laughs> as, as that was. It's good to see Devon back doing what Devon does yeah. so well. But um, Devon against John, they've they've gone against each other a number of times before. Um, in the super match formula, formula, which is kind of what's happening with this, where um, they have like competition uh, formats and then super match formats. Super okay. match is just one on one, so you're training specifically for one opponent. Right. Whereas a competition is like a knockout. You know, you yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have a really tough match and then they you go get to like a semi final. Exactly that. that. Okay. Um, so it's a little bit different. And, and speaking to a lot of arm wrestlers, they they train slightly differently for, for both. Okay. Someone like Devon suits the super match format. He figures people out. You know, he can afford to lose a round and figure out you know where the weaknesses are, drain his opponents, etc. He's he's a very tactical arm wrestler. Um, saying that so you know um john he's probably the most experienced arm wrestler he is so he knows what he's doing obviously regarded as a goat for a reason <laughs> absolutely i i just feel and this is my personal view and i'm not an expert when it comes to arm wrestling i love arm wrestling i do a little bit of training myself um but i i, I wouldn't say i'm an expert like i am with strongman but i find it hard to believe that someone like john who's past his prime can come back and beat someone like devon that's my personal view. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I've seen a lot of the mind games that are going on online. I mean, oh, really? Devon is normally the king of mind games, but a lot of people are saying that John's kind of, you know, got into his head a little bit. A mm. um, couple of uh, videos have been put out recently, and he said that the only reason that Devon will win this match is if, the ref if there's issues with the refereeing. Who said that, John? John said that, mm. and, uh, you know, implying that... Devon only wins because he can manipulate the referee sometimes. So that's a that's a big claim. And y you don't really see stuff like that from John. So I don't know if he's just kind of really diving deep in there into the mind games or if he genuinely feels that way. Mm. It's a big claim. I mean... A bit of tea? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you're an you know, arm wrestling fans, I know we've got some arm wrestling fans that come yeah. over and watch the strongman stuff. Let me know your thoughts with what's going on between Devon and John right now. I think it'll be, uh, I think the build-up's going to be good. I hope it's a good match. Yeah. 
I hope it's a bit more, um, you know, last time uh, Devon absolutely destroyed Michael Todd. Yeah, yeah. And I thought we thought it was going to be closer. It wasn't much of a match last time, mm. was it? With all respect to Michael. Absolutely. But um, we'll see. Can John kind of roll back the years and, and, you know, he's looking bigger than he's ever looked. Really? How so old is he? Do we know? I think he's in his 60s. Really? You know, he's oh. either late 50s, early 60s. Although arm wrestling is one of those sports you really can... Keep going, it's, can't you? It's, it's easier like, to keep yeah. going. And, and I mean, you say he's 60, but he's the biggest and strongest he's ever looked. <laughs> wow. So, um, you know, he's been eating well. So there's two more matchups that evening. Larry Wheels versus Brandon Allen. I'll say that one because I can pronounce the name. <laughs> well, Larry Wheels against Brandon Allen is a, is, that's a quite a good matchup. Okay. Last time when Larry went up against Schoolboy, Schoolboy was just a little bit too experienced for him, a little bit too far ahead. I think this is a closer match. Um... Brandon Allen has more competitive experience in arm wrestling, but you, you, you kind of. I was lucky enough to go over to Dubai and, and arm wrestle with Larry. Kind of, you know, I'm nowhere near Larry's level, but I kind of. Uh, I've, I've hooked up against a few different people, um, even a guy local to me who's just won the British Championships, mm. Mindus. And I'd say Mindus is better than Larry. Okay. Feels like, you know, when you kind of get that connection, you. F- f- you kind of feel if you think you've got a chance or you don't have a yeah, chance. Yeah. I felt against Larry, he was better than me, but it wasn't like so much further ahead. Whereas some people, you like, I went up against Devon, and it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, okay, I can't do anything here. Mm. Um, Larry in a hook is extremely strong. So I think if he can get it into that area of the match, then he's got a chance. I've never obviously hooked up with Brandon Allen. Um, very good power lifter he was. Uh, you know, super squatter. Uh, squatting doesn't matter so much, obviously, in arm wrestling. Mm. I think, I think, I mean, Larry's a strong guy. People don't give him the credit that he probably deserves. Mm. He's, you know, such an entertaining YouTuber. But and he flits around different sports, which is why people probably think, oh, you know. I, I think he's really taking arm wrestling probably more seems, seriously than anything else right yeah. now. And he's got tremendous bicep strength. His hands are very strong. We did that, you know, hand, um, yeah, the grip, the grip challenge video, yeah. which you can watch if you have a look in the, in the link up there. Um, <laughs> so he's got very strong hands, but it's then applying those strengths to arm wrestling. Yeah. Now, from what I've seen uh, watching his videos and from what I've listened to real experts in the sport, they say he's improving a lot. So I think Larry's got a good chance in this match. Mm. Uh, I think it'll be a lot closer than the Larry schoolboy. And the opening match? So we've got Ermes Gasparini versus Gennady Kivik Vina, I think, is... Um, I probably butchered his name. I Rob just kind of know him me. as... Um, uh, <laughs> what do you know him as? I just know him as Gennady. Okay. <laughs> and I know him as the man with the epic beard. Oh. He has an epic beard going on, and for that reason alone, I'm going to have to pick him. Oh, Lars, come on. Don't be so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're two very good arm wrestlers. Uh, I don't know as much about them as, say, like, you know, the, the top American or... or Western type of arm wrestle. I followed a lot of the WAL. Gasparini has arm wrestled in WAL against uh, the Canadian Matt Mask. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but just a great arm wrestler. So I think that'll be a good opening match that we'll, we'll enjoy. It's two very experienced arm wrestlers. Um, but like I said, you know, you've got to go with the man with the epic beard. Okay, so let's get down to the, the practical stuff. I can help with this bit. <laughs> so it's on Saturday. It's uh, watchable on pay-per-view via Core Sports. We'll leave a link in the description below. It starts at 10 p.m. Dubai time. So work your way back from there, depending on where you 6 are. 6 p.m. in the UK. I think so. Our clock's changed. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, 10 p.m. Dubai time, we do know. And on Friday, on Larry Will's YouTube channel, there's going to be a live press conference Q&A and all of that good stuff. And it's going to be commentated by none other than Michael Todd. And Michael Todd and Neil Pickup. Yes. So I, I did the first one with Neil Pickup. Um, we're actually going on a holiday. Yeah. And I think getting Michael Todd for this is actually the perfect choice. Yeah. I don't mind stepping in for arm wrestling if there's no one else, but Michael Todd obviously knows what he's talking about. One of the best arm wrestlers in the world. And he's an entertaining and engaging guy. So we're looking forward to tuning into it. I think those two will do a great job together. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. If you are a big arm wrestling fan, this is a, a big, big event to watch this weekend. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.